Okay, let's go. Yes. Hello, good evening everyone. Welcome to PIF Prague International in the Film Festival edition 2021-2022. I am Alex Orlino and we from PIF, we are here um, thanks to our sponsors, of course, and partners. Let me name them. Ari Rentals, Stella Productions, City of Prague, Prague One, Prague City Library, FAAP, University of Sao Paulo, Prague Film School, Screenshot, Salaud Morissette, and La Carretera Films. Thank you so much. And thanks, thank you very much, you, filmmaker. Thank you so much to have chosen PIF, Prague International Film Festival, as the, fe as the festival you want to participate in. We received again in this edition an astonishing number of submissions from more than 80 countries and from every and each continent of the world. So of course it was a rich and tough competition. I have to share with you that we are, ve that we are very lucky to have the chance to watch this variety of films because we know also as filmmakers that we are that we are connecting a great generation of filmmakers, hey, please. Um, we realize that every great filmmaker started, of course, by making the first film. Almost always it was a short film. And just like the filmmakers, um, the actors, the screenwriters, photographers, costume designers, makeup artists, producers, I mean, Every player in the film industry went through the sacred moment of making the first film, and it was a short film, probably. For many, it was the first step in building a career. PIF is structured to give maximum visibility, opportunity, and recognition to cinema professionals through nomination, prominence, presentation, and awarding several categories. This year, we developed our structure and kept receiving and appreciating films with a bigger and better team of judges. Uh, more judgment systems and new categories were, were developed and appreciated. Filmmaker, it has been a pleasure and a huge responsibility to receive your film. We know that almost everyone here wants to live with movies, from movies and for movies. This is our contribution. Prague is the city where we were born, but PIF belongs to you, filmmaker from all over the world. Thank you very much for being with us. Okay, thank you so much, Andre. Let's go to our first categories. First categories here are the ones related with sound, original score, sound design. And let me go directly to the categories and tell you who are the nominees for best original score. Pressed, Walter Souverains from Belgium. Anamnesis, Patrick Farrell from United States. Glaze Teague, B.C. Smith from United States. And the Cloaked Realm Tunnel 23, John Baxter from United States. The judge for these two categories was our friend Eric Cristiani. Eric Cristiani, responsible for sound design and original score, is a master in social communication, a teacher and a professor at the Instituto Europeo di Design and Laureate International University. He has worked responsible for the sound design in more than 60 films, shorts, and features. Hi, everyone. My name is Eric Ribeiro from Mystica Post, Sao Paulo, Brazil. And I'm so glad to introduce the original score category. And music and movies is probably the most powerful union in human arts. The power to create emotions, to guide the imaginary, to deceive the audience, to lead us through fantasy. All of this is possible through well-made original score. Uh, Claudio Gordon talks about the functions 
of music in films and the power it has to invade our subconscious as we are distracted by narrative. Um, original score is the villain that catches off guard but brings long awaited emotional payoff. Uh, so, congratulations, congratulations everyone. Uh, now the winner of original score category. Thanks. And the winner is... Glaistig. BC Smith from United States. Congratulations, great film. Best Sound Design. The nominees are Machines, Pilot, Domenico Verga and Antonio Zono from Italy. Yauda Knight, Elifnaz Yaumaskan from Turkey. Stuckman GmbH and Company, KG, Sharif Onis from Germany. And The Tears You Left With Me, Hugo Escurial from France. Sound design is crucial to film narratives and it's working different layers and types of sound such as providing understanding of character speech, create backgrounds, soundscapes, realistic or not, doesn't matter. Sound design is cooperating with realism, fantasy, emotions, visual effects department, textures, uh, working many different levels, it's required a lot of creativity and techniques to do it. All the moves that I watch are amazing. It was very difficult to me to choose one and the criteria had to be very effective. Um, but we had to choose one. Um, again, congratulations for everyone and thanks to get me part of it. Um, now, the sound design winner. And the winner is... Machines, Pilot, Domenico Verga, Antonio Zono, from Italy. Okay, very good. Let's go out now to our next um, categories. And uh, actually just one, best editing. Some say that this is where the film is really made the edition moment, the post-production. So, here are the nominees for best editing. How Could I Not Love You? From France, François Duverger. Don't Fence Me In, Mary Elaine Evans, United States. Korean Genocide, Song Il Chon, from Korea, Dead Dreams Falling, Craig Murray from France. Steve Reverend was the responsible for best editing. Our friend Steve Reverend is a French-born and Czech-based producer, graduated from Prague Film School. He co-founded in 2012 in Prague the, produ the production company The Lab, with the goal to develop international fiction projects. He produced many films from all around the world that had great success in many international festivals. Thank you so much for being with us, Steve. Hello, my name is Steve Reverend here in Prague and I had the honor to watch the selection of short films nominated in the best editing category. It was very hard to make a decision to award only one winner among the nominees as the films were also different in form from fiction to documentary via experimental film and music videos, uh, yet all very strong works all around. And many of the nominees were not only the editor of the films, but also the director and the producer, which is a massive undertaking. Uh, it was, I was really glad to feel the passion that went into the details of putting the ultimate narrative touches to the nominated films. And now time to find out the winner. And the winner is, How Could I Not Love You? Francois Duveguer from France. Congratulations. Beautiful movie too. Now, yes, the categories related to acting and performances. For best actor, our candidates are the nominees from the film Hush, actor Conrad Orland Waithen, Norway. From the film Severianin, Fyodor Petrukin, from the Russian Federation. 
Houter Ego, Christophe Martinet from France, and The Last Day of Patriarchy, Wojtek Vondrasek from the Czech Republic. Our judge for this category is Bara Janova. Bara is a Czech actress. She graduated from the Business Academy in the Jan Amos Komensky University in Prague. She started working as a director's assistant at the Czech television. She graduated from the Higher Vocational School of Acting, where she founded her theater company, Lami. She founded another group, Dirana Through, with friends. Bara played and plays in a lot of TV series, films, student productions, and she wrote and co-produced several short films. Thank you for being with us, Bara. Acting is, by my opinion, the most beautiful profession. It's because we are studying human behavior and ourselves the whole life. It's a way how to understand each other and how to see things from the different points of view. It's also a very challenging lifestyle because we are working with our psyche all the time. So all actresses and actors should be awarded. And the winner is The Last Day of Patriarchy, Wojtek Ondrasek. The next category, next category, Best Actress. The nominees are The Morning Bird, Oni Uhiara from the United Kingdom. Film, Sometime Else, Actress, Nia Roberts, United Kingdom. Clay Stig, Actress, Ariana Veronese from the United States. And, act, and film, A Little Stowaway. Melina Ackerman Kvi from the Czech Republic. And the winner is Melina Ackerman Kvi from the Czech Republic in the film A Little Stowaway. Congratulations, Melina. Very good. Next category Best Ensemble. Film, Ellie, director Fernando Bonelli from Spain. Film, Usher in the Light, Rebecca Wiggins, United States. The final masterpiece, Patrick Hanser, Brazil. And this is the last time I'm doing this, Germany. And the winner for best ensemble is Ellie, Fernando Bonelli, Spain. Congratulations to all the crew and the actors and actresses from Ellie. Very good. This was our block with the acting and the performances, and we're going to a fast break now. We'll be right back with more categories. See you in a few minutes.
Okay guys, here we are, we are back now from the second block of the Prague International Indie Film Festival where we are going to present some of the categories that involve the biggest crews in a production, even in a short film. So we are going to start now with the best production design. The nominees for best production design, do you have your popcorn there? Okay, keep it with you because we are going to the second and before last block. Best production design, on your behalf, Ana Garcia Rico from United Kingdom. The other film, Mirage, Artur Fanjet Fanjet from France. The third one, H, Learning Curve, Jenny O'Sullivan from the United Kingdom. And One Shot, Elena Winter from the United States. The judge for this category is our friend Ricardo Perez. Ricardo Perez is a partner at Arawate Films and founder of Topazio Films. He is a director, production designer, photographer, and graphic designer. He teaches direction, production design, and film culture at the Sao Paulo Film Institute. And he's a production designer for feature and short films also. With the film Palavras, Words, he participated in the festival off-camera in Krakow, Poland. Hello, my name is Ricardo Perez and I'm here to announce the winner of the best production design. Congratulations to all participants for the excellent work. And the winner is... On your behalf, Ana Garcia Rico from United Kingdom. Congratulations. The next category, best screenwriting. I love best, I love the screenwriting script. I would like to have also a prize, a festival for scripts, maybe in the near future. Because, you know, everything happens when you write well. Our friend Diego Fandos was the responsible, the judge responsible. He's a filmmaker from Spain. He wrote and directed the feature Cosmos that competed in the San Sebastian Film Festival and, sorry, his last two shorts, Under Pressure and Aurora, have been selected and awarded in more than 60 festivals around the world. Diego, thank you so much for being with us. Hello, Alex, Luma, and all the audience of this beautiful festival. For me, it's a pleasure to be again a jury member of the screenwriting category. And because of this, I can announce that the nominees are... The nominees are Anxiety Overcome, Philippe Hamel, Luxembourg. Sometime else, James Cleave from the United Kingdom. Hannes Bistro, Aaron Torok from Hungary and Trust. Diane Lansing from the United States. And the winner for best screenwriting is Sometime Else, James Cleave from the United Kingdom.
Congratulations, James. James, that was a difficult one. Next category, one of the big categories here, and it's the best cinematography. Okay, the nominees for best cinematography are My Dad's an Alien, Rasmus Tag from Finland, film Code, cinematographer Marley Hasselbach from Denmark. The final masterpiece, Hernan Marcus and Talisa Gracio from Brazil, and One Shot with Alfeo Dixon from the United States. Our judge for this category is Felipe Hermini. He's a director of photography and is the 2020 winner of the European Cinematography Awards. Also in 2020, was chosen Best Photography Direction in a short film for ABC Award. Among other prizes, Hermini is a photographer and professor and has performed in all Americas, Europe and Middle East. Has really a global work, our friend Felipe Hermini. And the winner is... Cold, Marley Hasselbeck from Denmark. Congratulations, guys. Next category, Best Producer. The nominees are Ellie, producer Elena Sabia from Spain. Larvae, producer Alessandro Rota from Italy. Oranges, producers Gianmarco Alessandri, Alessandro Valori, and Sara Manca from United States. Yes. And Dancing at the Royal Palaces, Fred Salmon from Denmark. Our judge for this category is Steve Reverend. Hello, I'm here once again to announce the nominees and the winner for the Best Producer category. Uh, being a producer on any film is a lot of responsibility. You're not only here to create the best conditions for the film to be made and to protect it, but also for that film to find its way to the audience. And that I got the opportunity to watch these precious short films is a real testament to the work of the producers. So thank you to all of you producers. And the winner for best producer is... Ellie. Elena Sabia from Spain. Congratulations, Elena. Excellent producing in this film, Ellie. That, it was a tough one, this category. Okay, now, the next block of categories. Uh, first time filmmaker, student director, and director. So, the, I think this is almost the most important category when we talk about the work of a director. Best are, uh, so the nominees for best first time filmmaker are a Place on the Edge of Breath, Veronica Rutledge, United States. Close Lined, Patrick Cemali, Lebanon. Daughters, Marjolaine Verhoeven from Belgium and Spawn of Love, Ayas Isayev from Germany. And the winner for Best First Time Filmmaker is a Place on the Edge of the Breath, Veronica Rutledge, United States. Very good. Congratulations, Veronica. Best Student Director is our next category. The nominees for Best Student Director are How Could I Not Love You, Plume Fab from France, Fruits and Vegetables, Maciej Jankowski from Poland. The Great Conjunction, Karolina Smolova from United Kingdom. And Ataraxia, Halle Seppa from United States. And the winner, oh, sorry, before the winner, let me talk about our judge, Masha Hilshisin. Masha Hilshisin is a filmmaker, video artist, and film pedagogist. 
She has been committed to making films on social issues and different aspects of violation, violation of human rights for over a decade. Her documentary films have been screened at various film festivals around the world. And the winner is Great Conjunction, Carolina Smolova, United Kingdom. Congratulations all these students, but especially you. Next category, Best Director. We have in this category almost every film running. The nominees for this category are The Morning Bird, George Sumner from United Kingdom, Larvae, Alessandro Rota from Italy, Grandma Meet Mary, Kyrie Russ from Estonia, and Nothing But Flowers, Eddie Matias from Brazil. Our judge for best director is Teresa Hirsch. Teresa Hirsch is a Czech-German award-winning director, screenwriter, and producer. She's best known for her short film, The Guilt List, from 2016, and Beyond Her Lands from 2019, as well as various music videos shot across three continents. In the last year, she divided her professional life between Los Angeles and Prague. Thank you so much for being with us, Teresa. What makes a great film director? I would say it is someone who is able to pick up all the little pieces of film, the little puzzle pieces. So there is a piece of cinematography, of acting, of script, of sound, of everything. And that person is able to not only bring it together and make it stick and work, but also makes it something that people look at and they're like, whoa, this is something that I haven't seen yet. This is something that blows my mind. This is something that touches my heart. This is something that makes me emotional. And this is something that I wish I came up with. Um, and this year I have seen so many great pieces of fantastic filmmakers. And I had this whoa feeling with a bunch of them. And it was really, really difficult to um, find out which one really stands out. And the winner for Best Director is... Alessandro Rota with his film Larvae from Italy. Congratulations, Alessandro. Next category. Before the next category, we're going to a fast break and we'll be right back.
Okay, here we are back to the third and last block of the Prague International Indie Film Festival Awards edition 2021-2022. After this block, we are done and you will know all the winners. In this block, we have seven categories. Best Music, Best Any Music Video, Best Animation, Best Experimental, Best Short Doc, Best Student Short, Best Foreign Short, and Best Short Film. I have all the names here with me. Let me tell you, such a difficult job to select the finalists. Imagine to select the winner. So, thank you very much all the judges that helped us with this task because really, it's a very difficult and a huge responsibility because these winners are going to take home a physical trophy. And this is amazing, this is fantastic. We are very happy and proud to be able to give that for filmmakers. But I tell you, even if you're not the winner, and I'm sure I'm talking to most of you, that's not the problem. Thank you very much and thank you so much for being with us. Let's go, stop talking. Best Music Video Nominees. The judge responsible for this category was Teresa Hirsch. So, I already talked about our friend Teresa. Music videos are a very special category, I think. You cannot really compare them to other short films because the filmmaker has a very short amount of time to present his idea, his story, or certain feelings or a message without using any dialogue most of the time. And this year there have been some fantastic submissions and I have seen many wonderful music videos that got selected to this year's um, festival. And I am honored to be the judge of this category um, for the second time this year. And here are the nominees. Fade Into You, David M. Hellman from United States. Kalina from Anastasia Andrevna Solonovich from Ukraine. A Piece of Me, Miguel Toscano from Brazil. And Their Dreams Falling, Craig Murray from France. And the winner is Kalina, the music video Kalina made by Anastasia Andreevna Solonevich from Ukraine. Congratulations and thank you so much for being with us, Anastasia. Next category, Best Animation. The nominees are Saloon, Jeffrey Wisniewski from United States. Mom is Pouring Rain, Hugo de Facompret from France. There is exactly enough time, Oscar Salomonovitz from Austria. And the first loss of my life, João Victor Boechat Gomid and Marcelo Tanur from Brazil. The judge for best animation is our friend Marcelo Perdido. Marcelo is a musician, composer, video artist, and he writes, directs, films, edits, and post produces videos and films. And he's also a teacher and professor of audiovisual creativity at the Sao Paulo Digital School. Thank you so much for being with us, Marcelo Perdido. Hi, I'm Perdido. I'm a multimedia artist from Brazil, and I came to announce the winner in the Best Animation Short category. In my personal work, I always look for unusual ways to tell my stories, whatever in music, collage, or animation. As an animator myself, I'm very happy to have watched all these incredible films and to be able to understand each director's choices when telling their stories. 
I imagine you're already getting tired of my face. So let's change that. Okay, this old red seems to be a spoiler. Let's find out who is the winner. And the winner for best animation is... Shanu! Ça faisait tellement longtemps! Mom is pouring rain. Hugo de Facoprette from France. Congratulations. Beautiful film. Tu Tu veux m'accompagner à un concert, petite Au village Dans la forêt The next category. Best experimental film. This is, for me, it's one of the funny, the, 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 I enjoy the most. This best experimental because really here we go sometimes to different places in the creativity and imagination of so many filmmakers. The nominees are An Ambush in Suspense, Simone Quehelard from France. The Winds Scent, Tommaso Banti from Italy. Entropy, Matan Portnoy from Israel. And Playback, Poya Agelizadeh from Iran. A very tough competition here. And the winner is... Entropy, Matam Portnoy, Israel. Mm. Next category, best short documentary. Cell phones, please, everyone. Best short doc. The nominees are, from that moment, Patricia Mendonça Tebet, Brazil. The Queen of Basketball, Ben Proudfoot, United States. Holly's Dress, Annie Sakab, Canada. A Life in Silence, Halimah Tariq, from Qatar. Our judge for best documentary is Flavia Guerra, documentarian and journalist, specializes in film and TV, and a podcast presenter. Flavia has scripted, narrated, produced, directed, and participated in several projects in documentaries and cinema, such as Karl Marx's Way, Life March, Brazil Seen from the Sky. She was also a researcher and developed the script for the feature In Search of a Perfect Beer, directed by Heitor Dalia. Hello everybody, I'm Flavia Guerra from Brazil and I'm really honored and happy to be part of this beautiful film festival once again. And once again, to be able to watch interesting, intriguing, beautiful films, beautiful documentaries. I'm biased because I'm also a documentarist, but I really believe in the power of documentaries to tell us, you know, interesting stories with different and creative perspectives and once again i've seen beautiful films and i really like the fact that this year i've seen stories about women and girls facing different challenges in different moments of their lives different cultures different religions but all of them sharing with us their emotions their challenges and also their stories, life stories, which is cinema is all about. And the winner is... A Life in Silence, Halimah Tariq, Qatar.
Congratulations, the winner for best short documentary, short doc. We're going to the final stretch here. Best student short. The nominees are How Could I Not Love You, Plum Fab, Friends, In the Upper Room, Alexander Gretzer, Austria, Stuckman GmbH and Company KG, Charif Uni, Germany, and Ataraxia, Halle Seppa, United States. Our judge, Mariana Setubo, it's a doctor in cinema, master in social history, specialist in history, culture, and society. Mariana Setubo is a documentary and history of cinema. Uh, sorry, let me say it right. Mariana Setubo is a documentary and history of cinema professor at our partner, FAP University. Thank you so much, Mariana, for being with us. Hi there, my name is Mariana Setubo. I'm a professor of Brazilian and international film history here at FAP University in Brazil. First of all, I'd like to say it's a shame we can meet in person, but you get all my love and gratitude to, through this video. Second, I would like to thank Luma and Alex for the invitation to join the jury of Praga International Windy Film Festival. Say it was an amazing experience to be able to get in touch with the work of these amazing directors and watch all these great movies. So, for the category of best short student, I'd like to say something first. I think that observe the world to the lens of a camera required for us a very unique sensibility, especially in the moment like the one that we are living in. So crucial for the human history. So I think in one way or another, you all are winners, but unfortunately we can only reward one of you. So the winner is Que todo, que todo, que todo, que todo, que, que todo el mundo te cante, que todo el mundo te mire, se lo canto y pa' que mire, no me voy más ni por mire. How could I not love you? Plum Fabre from France. Congratulations. Beautiful, beautiful movie. Como no te voy a querer. Now the last two categories, best foreign short and best short film. All our jury, all our judges are involved and share their opinion, their analysis and their scores with all the direction to decide who are the winners for best foreign short and best short film. The nominees for best foreign short film are If You Love You Must Leave, Joseph José and Pablo Cotin, from France. Close lined, Patrick Shemali from Lebanon. Archibald Syndrome, Daniel Perez, Perez from France. And Spawn of Love, Ayas Isayev from Germany. And the winner for best foreign short film is. Beautiful movie. Close line, Patrick Shemali from Lebanon. Congratulations. Beautiful movie. And finally now, and finishing very happily and proud, our 21-22 edition of the Prague International Indie Film Festival, we're going to announce the winner for best short film. Let me tell you, it's always difficult, it's always polemic. We are never like, you know, totally in, in agreement of the film, but I love this film and I really agree even if we have a very tough competition with winners of, and here in, in this category, Best Short Film, we have winners from another 
some of the biggest festivals in the world. But our winner was elected from our jury. So let's go for it. The nominees for Best Short Film are Hush, Emily Beck, Norway, Alakashu, Take and Run, Maria Brendel, Switzerland, Close to the Light, Nicola Piovesan, Italy, and One Shot, Christopher L. Miller from the United States. And the winner for Best Short Film is... Close to the light, Nicola Piovesan from Italy. Well, thank you so much for being with us in this edition, in the edition 2021-2022 of the Prague International Indie Film Festival. Hope to see you soon. Thank you so much and congratulations to all the winners. Bye-bye.